Hello there and welcome back. Today we have a clash of two characters who have, I guess you could say, well, technically they both have divine like control over like a lightning and stuff, electrokinesis. So we have Black Adam from DC versus Storm. So the reason why I wanted to compare this to, as I mentioned before, is that they both have well, Storm now, the Storm that I was thinking of using was someone who was just, like, the leader of the X-Men and all that stuff. But when I was reading through a wiki page, I found out that she was actually, like, made a god, which I thought was really cool. So I thought, why not? So, um, let's just get straight into this. Intelligence. Storm, again, if we were to go by the 7-point scale, which is probably not a very good, you know, thing to use... But it's not stated that she's a genius level intellect or anything like that. Black Adam has the wisdom of, if I'm not mistaken, it is the wisdom of Zehuti. I apologize uh, if I mispronounced it, or mispronounced that God's name, but uh, the Egyptian God of Learning. Not to mention Black Adam is a few millennia years old, so he's had vast amount of experience with that ability. Tactics. Black Adam isn't really much of a strategist. At least not from what I understand. Uh, Storm has led the X-Men for years. And multiple X-Men teams, for that matter. Fighting ability. Black Adam is... I mean, yes, I know Storm is very well-versed in martial arts. But compare that to someone who is a ruthless fighter. I think this was... I'm not sure what fight Geo Josh did. But... I'm pretty sure it was either Sentry versus Superman, where Superman, I think, knew some Kryptonian martial arts, and Sentry was just simply a ruthless fighter, and he gave simply the, uh, the edge to uh, to Sentry just because he's that much because he's that ruthless, right? This is kind of a similar situation. Storm perhaps might know more fighting skills, but Black Adam, as I said, millennia years old, plus he's ruthless. So as far as fighting goes, I think Black Adam would have an edge in that strength, strength, and speed as well as durability, have to go to Black Adam. More or less, he is... I think he's actually considered the most powerful superhuman on Earth. He's more powerful than Superman. Which, when you come to think of it, makes sense. And that's not even including that Superman has a mystical and vulnerability... or a mystical vulnerability. It's just the fact that when you consider that Black Adam dresses power upon six gods, and occasionally seven, if it's Isis, right? Um... And he knows how to use these powers to their almost full extent. It makes sense, consider you know. Uh, not to mention the power of I think it's um, Amun. I'm, I think Amun Ra, I believe, is in it. Again, I'm not really too familiar with the Egyptian deities, although I wish to be. But uh, get granted the power of or the you know power or the strength of Amun, or the uh, king of Egyptian gods, grants enhancements and all these abilities aside from you know the gods that initially bestowed these abilities it's kind of the same thing with Ka or shazam you know with the power of zeus amplifying you know the speed of her uh, mercury and the strength of hercules and all that healing again he's practically a god more or less uh he's i think had his jaw broken by uh ultraman and he healed within a few hours I don't see Storm. I don't see Storm as listed as having an, 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 an ex, uh, exceptionally high healing or a great healing factor. Invulnerability. Again, uh, from what I understand, Storm doesn't necessarily seem to possess enhanced durability. She just doesn't. Energy projection, though, and versatility by far go to Storm. Black Adam more or less can just shoot lightning. Which, is as powerful as lightning bolts may be, it's nothing compared to Atomokinesis or at Atmokinesis. My bad. Atmokinesis. So she can control the elements, right? I mean, she. I guess you could say that. Not to mention, she does can use magic. That is something that also I think Black Adam isn't really known for using. Even though he has the potential to, he just doesn't. Um, teleportation, and like all gods, she needs to have believers and worshippers, so, 
Yeah. I'd say that's greatly above that of what Black Adam can do. Now the X Factor. This one's a hard one because, yes, Storm beats, if I'm not mistaken, because I'm on the rookie pages right now, as I said. I'm not, I'm, I'm more familiar with Black Adam than I am with Storm because I'm, I would say, well, DC Shazam is my favorite superhero, so Black Adam is obviously someone whom I know of. Um, the Adversary. So, again, yeah. So, I guess you could say, and looking at this, he's quite an impressive human being. So, here's how I see this. So, I'll give the X-Factor to Storm for the simple fact that, based on what I see from Adversary, he has... He's a, he's around, I would say, he's around Black Adam's power level. He's probably slightly greater than Black Adam's power level. So, Storm has the potential to be adversary. But, Black Adam has beaten people far more powerful than Storm. Superman, I, I think he's beaten Superman, right? Um, and I'm not considering World War III Black Adam. And if I were to, then the x would go to him... Because he technically has gone through entire people, like entire legions of superheroes at once. So, I'll just get the X Factor to Storm here. Uh, not to mention she might have the uh, mystical potential to revert Black Adam back to his mortal form and then potentially kill him. Who knows, right? But, um, that covers this fight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please, if you'd like, su uh, subscribe, like, share. I greatly appreciate it. Excuse me. And I hope you have a great day and stay tuned for the next fights.